I also have a master class with Melody Mm -hmm. where I actually teach property preservation. So since 2020, I've created over 800 entrepreneurs Mm. since 2020 from people all across the nation. So Mm. property preservation is managing foreclosed properties for banks. Mm. And that's what I used to do. That's how I first became a millionaire, Mm. then made it a multi-million dollar business. Um, Of course, through the divorce, dissolved all of that Mm -hmm. and literally started all the way over from the ground up. Hey, my trendies, trendsetters and my trendies. Indie tribe. So I was able to do it. I got your top 10 from Melody's interview with DJ Scream. These are my personal top 10 favorites. Let me know what your personal favorites were down in the comments section. Melody ticks off notable places and things in Huntsville, Alabama. I like Huntsville though. You do? I like Huntsville. Uh huh. It's a nice city. You know, it's growing. It's some amazing development that's happening in Huntsville. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I think, you know, when it came to the show, Mm -hmm. you know, was definitely, hey, let's highlight, right, a city in Alabama Mm -hmm. um, that is growing, doing Mm -hmm. well. We've got NASA, Mm -hmm. um, that we have the Arsenal, Redstone Arsenal military base. The FBI now has an, Mm -hmm. you know, a whole spot there. Mm -hmm. So it's just growing like crazy. Can't forget about the big A&M. Hey, A and M. That's right. I graduated from A and M in 07, so yeah. HBCU all day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So DJ Scream asked Melody, "Who are three women that she would give flowers to?" Who, who are three? Who are three women that, if, if you could give them like flowers that you that you really like, look up to? Like, For one, my mother. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, definitely have to give flowers to my mom, man, because when I say, you know, as I've gotten older, just looking back and seeing how, like, wow, my mom really instilled a lot in me. Mm. She really groomed me to be the best. She gave me the confidence that I needed. Mm. I saw, she, and not just saying it, and but I saw her doing it. She graduated with her degree when I graduated from high school, my senior year. Mm. So seeing her go back to school like she's just a living walking example mm. you know what i'm saying for me so definitely my mom when i'm on her network oprah winfrey oprah, what up what up oprah, <laughs> oprah winfrey you yeah. know yeah. um because we all know her story too and you know what she's gone through as a child and yet she still has overcome and has created this amazing empire mm-hmm. that gives the platform too to so many women mm-hmm. right so that's what i try to do even in my purpose work you know, um, really inspire women, um, give them an opportunity and platform to come to come up. Like mm. I said, I've cre- the 800 entrepreneurs I've created since 2020, most of them have been black women. Mm. Most of them have been That's black amazing. women. Yeah. And I would say, <laughs> this is going to sound a little cliche, but Beyonce. Okay. Just well, be yeah, Beyonce. Listen, Beyonce. Well, you give, I'm going to give Beyonce her never flowers. Never give Beyonce too many flowers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I had an opportunity to meet her. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had a conversation. She was super sweet. But to see her um, go through, she goes through a lot of scrutiny. Mm-hmm. You know, she gets scrutinized about a lot of stuff, but yet she still keeps showing she's the baddest in the game. She discusses how she protects her energy. Speaking of energy, how do you protect your energy? Obviously, when you're, you know, on a certain frequency level, mm-hmm. then there's certain things that might try to pull you down. It might be comments on your social media. Yeah. It might be... Martel Hope. It might be um yeah, <laughs> it might uh-huh. be a lot of different people, people like just different, yeah. different people mm-hmm. on the show or yeah. just just in day to day. Like how do you protect your energy and make sure that you don't crash out? Okay. So I'm not perfect in that area. Mm. I'm human. So okay. sometimes I let folks get it too. I just gotcha. did that yesterday, to be gotcha. honest. Gotcha. 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 Um, gotcha. but overall my growth from like season one of being in the public mm-hmm. eye to me now being on season five of this show you know we've been it's been out since 2019 mm-hmm. um, my growth in that is amazing mm-hmm. because I used to be ready to check people mm-hmm. all the time mm-hmm. and I literally had to spend some time with myself learn to truly love myself mm-hmm. after such a big divorce and scandal, right? And to get back to who is Melody? Mm -hmm. Who is Melody? What does Melody desire? Oh, Melody desires peace Mm -hmm. more than, you know what I'm saying? That's big for me. Mm -hmm. Melody desires to be in situations where um, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I love people around me who are laughing, having a good time. We cut up. I'm a high key comedian, by the way. So we cut up all the time, right? Um, So I'm not perfect in not responding when it comes to social, but my block game is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, they my fans would be on there. They'd be like, oh, she clicking the block button. The block button is amazing. People who aren't meant to be on your frequency, you have to block them out. But mm-hmm. I'm not saying be, you know, be bullied by anyone either. Stand up for yourself when you need to, but you can't respond to everything. Mm-hmm. 
Melody speaks about her vegan products in her company, 7th Avenue Beauty, and her partnership with her Black female chemist, Obia. Ask and just really allow myself to do everything I desire to do has mm-hmm. been a blessing for me. So I have 7th Avenue Beauty, mm-hmm. which is my skin, body, and hair care brand. Salute on that. Yeah, products are vegan, natural, paraben-free. Mm-hmm. I have an amazing black female chemist out in Dallas, Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, she and I work and formulate everything together, fully certified. Been mm-hmm. a chemist for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. So um, all of our products are, they're the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, they're the truth. Mm-hmm. Melody teaches her children how to be entrepreneurs and what the results look like of hard work. Yeah. So when I'm down packing orders, they're down wanting to, mom, can I help? So, can I help you do something? Yeah. Um, they keep up with inventory yeah. the same way I, you know, I got my, I check them, you know, make yeah. sure they right. But they keep up with inventory. Um, they love being, I guess I can say I'm kind of instilling in them how to be an entrepreneur out mm. the gate, but that's all they've known. Mm. All they've ever seen since I've had them, I've been an entrepreneur solely working for myself. So mm. that's what they know. And I integrate them in it. Like it ain't no, oh, you don't need to know. Oh, you know. They'll ask me, so mom, how did your performance go? Mm-hmm. Mom, how did the speaking engagement go? And guess what? Sometimes I fly them with me mm. and they're there to witness that firsthand to see what it means, what why mommy's working hard, what mm. this looks like and what the results can be when Mm. you do work hard. So for the women out there that want to be entrepreneurs. Melody explains the specific reason why she packs her own products. People look at me and they see me packing all these orders online Mm. and they'll be like, Mel, hire some people. You need to hire some people. I'm like, I love what I'm doing. Mel Mel be in there like, just her trap. She I know that's how I treat it. Trap. That's how I treat it. it. I'd be like, she hey, <laughs> she cooking going out here herself. to the trap room. Let's get this seventh. <laughs> let's hey, let's push this product. We got to push this Seventh Avenue, baby. Yeah. But look, it's like I love it. Mm-hmm. So I stay hands on because I love it. Mm-hmm. I know that every woman who receives a package from me, first of all, they're gonna get my energy because mm-hmm. I packed it. Mm-hmm. Second of all, they're gonna feel amazing when they open it and start using it. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's also fulfilling. DJ Scream asks Melody, what is her advice for African-American women specifically who want to be an entrepreneur? But what would you say to that woman, particularly, especially an African-American woman that's trying to become a successful entrepreneur? Um, If you're trying to become an entrepreneur, first and foremost, surround yourself with some entrepreneurs, Mm. right? You've got to have people around you who have a similar mindset, who are not limiting what it is that God can do for you in your life, who Mm. are pushing you in those on those days. Because, I mean, I went through a very public scandal and divorce. Mm. So there were days when I didn't even want to get up and do stuff. But I had Mm. people around me who like, "Uh uh-uh, come on, Mel, let's go. Mm. So... Um, You have to have people around you who have a similar mindset. Be okay with cutting off people who don't. Mm, Okay. You ain't got to apologize to nobody for it. You ain't got to feel like, oh, but I don't want to hurt their feelings. If you know that there are people in your life who don't align with your purpose, Mm -hmm. be okay with letting those things go and cutting them off. Melody explains the inspiration behind her song, Nobody's Business. Um, there was an interview that happened with my ex back in January where he released some old videos from mm, us when we were married. And Yeah, he heard yep. about it. Bad, mm. So, you know. Yep. So, um, I didn't respond at the time. Mm. I was like, mm-mm. I went in the studio and did nobody's business. I was texting my co-writer, Naquan Ree. Shout out to Naquan. Texting my co-writer, Naquan Ree, some, um, some of the lyrics that I wanted in there. He was sending some back to me. Mm-hmm. And now we have this amazing hit song. And mm-hmm. we charted um, on uh, number one on the R&B charts. Um, in the top ten, we got to the top ten on all genres charts. Mm-hmm. So people was really feeling nobody's business. DJ Scream asked Melody, what does the rest of her 2024 look like? Give us some exclusive info. What's going down the rest of 2024? You know, you always got something up your sleeve. Oh, 2024. So um, uh, my production company, um, we've executive produced a reality show called okay. Charnita's World. Okay. So season two, we are filming it right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> we are filming season two right now. So they got picked up for a season two. Um, have another contract as well that we just signed um, with another distributor. Okay. And um, I haven't spilled that yet. So okay. there's you some I'm, little tea. I'm let you, I'm yeah, let there's you, you some yeah. little tea. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm always, I'm always working. I'm filming Love and Marriage Huntsville. Mm-hmm. You know, right now what we're season filming. Season is it now? Like season? It should be season eight. <laughs> but you know, they do this part A, yeah, yeah, part yeah, yeah. B, part yeah, know, C when they want yeah, to, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so technically. 
is season five. Okay. You know, and, you know, even in that, man, just making the history of literally creating and bringing forth a show out of Alabama, you know, it, being an African-American female, that's just history. It is what it is. It's mm-hmm. never going to change. Um, nobody can change it. Can't no haters change mm-hmm. that. And it literally created a wave Oh, on social media. Mm-hmm. It has been the talk of everything, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm super proud of, you know, proud mm-hmm. of that. Especially. And if you watched the live reaction to Melly's interview in an earlier video, you already know what my number one was going to be. Let's get into it. Nobody trumps God's purpose for your life. <laughs> Melody, any words of encouragement and motivation for the people out there in listening land and watching you right now? Give us some big games, some big motivation. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Let me tell y'all this. First of all, don't you ever, ever give up on anything that you feel is part of your purpose. Nobody trumps God's purpose for your life, okay? Um, sometimes you have to disconnect in order to really get the blessings that God has in store for you. So look, don't be afraid to let people go when you need to let them go. Don't be afraid to try new things. Fear will hold you back. Don't be afraid to try new things and don't be afraid to let it just be you and God to get to where you're trying to go. Mm. Melody uses DJ Scream's earlier words back on him. Hold new respect for y'all. Okay, but when's the second one coming? Because um, we need to talk about that. What's next? When the second one No, we're going to leave that up to God. You know, God <laughs> makes those decisions. God makes those decisions. I don't make those decisions. Uh-huh. You ready yeah. for another one? Uh, Well, let me put it this way. I'm ready for whatever God got from me. I'm going to blame everything uh-huh. on That's God why I stay, in, that's why I stay, in, stay in the right way with your wife. That's why I'm ready when God says. Happy wife. <laughs> and then what other? One, one, one last piece of exclusive info. I know you got something you're holding from me. Something. Don't be trying to act like I want to tell you I'm engaged or dating or married oh, or nothing. No, see, because you might be Put leaning towards that. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. You single? I am single. Yeah. You going to stay single? Um, you know what? I'm going to do what you said. You oh. know, God, when God <laughs> sees <gonna> fit, <laughs> when God sees fit for me to no longer be single, yes. then I'll no longer I be get single. You. Uh-huh. All right. Yep. Uh-huh. You fire back the way you were supposed to fire back. You got me. <laughs> okay, Trendies. Those were my favorite top 10 moments from the interview. The link to the full interview is in the description box. Please let me know your thoughts, and what were your personal favorites. And I will see y'all soon. Bye.